Like says the time between Fajr, the Adhan and the Iqama, he does the Adhkar. And I'm glad you brought this up so I can tell also the viewers that you know the Adhkar which we mentioned to be recited in the morning, you can recite it as early as you hear the Adhan, even before the Salah. So this way, he sees the opportunity between the Adhan and the Iqama, especially if you're praying in the Masjid, either recite your Quran or do your Adhkar, because in many cases, people, once they're dismissed from the prayer, they get busy and they forget a lot. So he says that I do Subhanallah wa bihamdi or Subhanallah al azim and Kalimat al Tawheed a hundred times each. Wonderful. He says, I don't know if I'm doing it too fast, should I slow down? I don't know how fast you do it. But we've heard some people in the prayer, after they finish the prayer, they say, sub, 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 sub. And that's why some uh, children in America were asking, what sub, 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 sub? Basically, he doesn't even get to say sub. Allah. He said, sub, sub, sub. It is not like that. At tasbih is dhikr. And the greatest dhikr is the dhikr which is uttered by the heart, mind, and tongue. So your heart is involved when you say, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, thank you, Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. You know what you're saying? You know what you're saying? Somebody is scrolling in his phone and uh, checking out the missed calls and reading the message. Sub, 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 sub. That's not called dhikr. It is not about how many times can you do it and how much adhkar can you say. It's about whether you benefit out of that or not. So the quality is always giving precedence over the quantity. And I will tell you one hadith after this phone call, inshallah, Juwairiyah.